Dearly beloved, we have gathered... No, <laughs> that's for a wedding. I'm sorry. Unless, unless something you guys want to share with us. Nellie, Victor? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, Jasper, maybe you and... Mm-hmm. No. Oh, okay. Why well, it worked he... for Victoria Ash. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, let's see. Um, dearly departed. Uh, no, no. <laughs> that's for a funeral. <laughs> Though I guess technically we're all kind of dead, so but should we you, throw up? You wait. invited him. We can have a party with little hats and a cake. I never got a memorial service, I'm just saying. <laughs> we should do that. Anyway, <clears throat> I had a vision. Oh, God. Okay. No, it's fine. Fine. Yeah. Calm yeah, let's, down. Let's hear it. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, great. This one was a little bit different than the normal because it, it was kind of intense and, and kind of long. So I'm going to try to remember as much as I can. Uh, and uh, you know that whatever I say, you just kind of interpret it however you want. Okay. Anyway, Annabelle, you were in my dream. You showed up first. I saw you. You were, you were on a big black Stallion, and you're riding through the streets of Los Angeles. Your hair looked so freaking cool. It was like whipping behind you, you know, just the one side, because you have the other side shaved. So it was just one side whip. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you were riding this 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 big black horse at night, uh, and, and there were there were other animals with you. There there was there was a wolf. There was a big green wolf. Do you know Beast Boy? Anyway, the wolf had a, a, a torch in its in its jaw, and I think that might have been dangerous for it. But it, it was running alongside you, and it looked dangerous for sure. But I, I don't think it was it was gonna hurt you. Maybe I, I don't know. Uh, this 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 was all happening so fast, and then it, it kind of it warped, it changed, and then then we were facing the ocean. But it, it was just you. There was no wolf. There was, there was no horse. The, there was you in the ocean, and then the tide, tide, the tide was coming in. It was, it was so fast uh-huh. and, and rising so, so high. And then, then it was really scary. You looked up, and, and you saw the moon. And, and the moon looked at you, and it said, No. The moon? Yeah. Was there a face in the moon, or it just was it said, just the moon? No. And then, and then it started to move and rotate, and that's strange because the moon doesn't rotate. We can't normally see that. But we saw the other side of the moon, and it said, yes. And then it flipped back, and it said, no. And then, yes. No. Yes. Does that, does that make sense? Uh, I, 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 no, I'll, I'll uh, see. Maybe there's an eclipse there's, there's, coming up. Or... I don't know. I don't know. I'll check my apps. Okay. Have you, have you been sleeping? Well, kind of. Yeah, having having visions. It's what, oh. the same thing, essentially. What happened okay. next? Well, you know, the, the it, it kind of shifted again, and and we saw up in the sky, there it, it was it was light out, and I hadn't seen sunlight. Uh, it's, it's, it's so long. It's only been in my my dreams. And do you guys dream about sunlight? Do you remember what the sky looks like? I don't remember, I don't remember any dreams. Yeah. That was like two months ago. Yeah, it's well, true. Anyway, in the sky there were four birds. They were like birds of prey, maybe, or the, it was four hawks or four eagles or four big birds. Not from Sesame Street. Not like ah, count your numbers. That doesn't even make sense. But there were Does any of this? Hawks. And they were they were there and they were circling and uh, one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy. Right? I think that's how that goes. How are you still alive? Uh? <laughs> Through a series of trial and error. Anyway, they they they, they were circling. And then we weren't at the ocean anymore. We were at a river, and, and it was this fast-flowing rapids. This, this river was going by, and the, the hawks were, were flying with the river, and they were, they were trying to, to chase something. They were, they were chasing a girl, uh, some, some really pretty girl with, with red hair. But they, they were trying to save her, and, and she was drowning in the river, and these hawks couldn't do it. And I just needed somebody to go out and save her. Please, she's drowning. I saw Eva next. That was pretty clear. She was she was alone and she was 
holding the heart, like, uh, like, like it was Valentine's Day. It was like a paper heart. And then she rips it in half. And it's, it sounded like, like glass shattering. Like it was awful. It was, it was terrible. She held the halves of this paper heart in, in both of her hands. And, and then she, her hands started burning and she was crying blood tears. And I think something might be wrong with Eva. I, I don't know. This could have happened before, or it might be happening in the future. But I. You might want to. She was. She was surrounded. She, there were. She wasn't alone. There were two figures, that were behind her. They were like, gargoyles or statues or guards, because there was one of strategy and and there was one of slaughter, and they were connected by a red string or thread there was there was something behind them that was connecting them behind Eva but eventually it just all got dark like really 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 dark and that's how you know it's dark because I said really three times so maybe call your girl sheriff I was uh, I was walking in that darkness or where I was jogging or maybe I was skateboarding probably skateboarding I don't know how to skateboard can you teach me how to skateboard? Could you? I'll do my best. Uh, sorry. Uh, then, then there was there was okay. Uh, there was a light. There was a flash of light, and it was a tall white candle. And and Victor, you were standing there. You were next to the candle, and you had you had a crown on. It was not the best crown. It was super dented, and and there was a bullet hole. Maybe it was rusty, and you should really take it to the haberdasher. Or whoever takes care of crowns. Yeah, it's, sure. But you were you were you were standing next to this candle and you were holding a heart too. But it it was blue and it was made out of crystal and 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 you held up the heart into the light of this candle, and red beams shot out of it like like some sort of beam web or like if Cyclops went cross-eyed. I get that reference. I actually do too, but uh, strangely, yeah, right. Okay, Everybody okay. Gets that reference. Cool, cool, cool. Right. I don't know. This. Ne- it, it's, it's all about these hearts and 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 these bad crowns and wolves and and rivers. So, how, how was your week? Yeah? What you've been up to? What? Huh? Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Season 2, Epilogue 2, Watch the Night. Now what you've just seen might not make complete sense to you yet, but it will once you've watched all four epilogues, I promise. But tonight, our scene begins in the middle of the action. On the Pacific Coast Highway, It winds up and down the rocky, cliff-strewn California coast with the surf pounding against the rocks far below. Three motorcycles roar through the night, each with a vampire steering it through the shadows. Sikorax, what's your bike? I got 
1969 BSA Rocket II, but it's repainted all black, black metal, everything, black on black on black. So it's a two-wheeled shadow. Yes. Casey? I've got a 2015 Ducati Monster 821, red and black, water-cooled 112 horsepower engine, real beauty. And tonight, the Valkyries ride with a new friend, Annabelle, on her own cycle. I, I, I wanted a Harley. Did I get a Harley? No. <laughs> That's a lot of bike for you. We like you, but I don't know if you're quite ready for a Harley yet. You're That's on, true and fair. You're on a tried and true triumph. Okay. It fits your stature perfectly. All right. I'll take it. Feels awesome. I mean, you've ridden with nines some. You know, you have got a feel for it. <clears throat> the low center of gravity kind of suits you, actually. And you love how it can weave fast in and out of <clears throat> traffic. It feels great. It also feels like... Um, a trustworthy machine, something that you can rely on. What do you want to do? Let's take it out on the open road. Let's do it. I feel up for some canyon carving tonight. Let's Sick. do it, yeah. Let's, Let's see if you can hang. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nines has been teaching me. I can hang. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you take the lead, and I'll roll behind in case anything rolls back down. All right, let's ride. <sighs> okay. Leaving Long Beach behind you, you head out onto the road. The sense of freedom out here, away from the cities, away from the war, the conflicts, the Camarilla, just the ocean off to your right, the dark waves under the moon, and the road... Eight lanes wide and no hard traveling in sight. It's a nice change. Hey, Annabelle. Yeah? Try this! And I'm going to go uh, for a jump off of a ramp that we see on the side from some construction. Plywood, barrels, sawhorses. It's makeshift. It's not safe, but you don't care, clearly. All right. <clears throat> you going to show off? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna take a jump off the ramp and uh, and pop back on the hind wheel and then land smoothly and then going forward. Stick it straight. Mm -hmm. Seven dice, six regular, one hunger. Sikorax, are you following her in? Oh, absolutely. Okay, you'll roll next, and then then Annabelle on the triumph. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, what do you got? Two successes. Two successes. You don't stick the landing quite as smoothly as you would have hoped. You get a little fishtail at the end. The gravel was loose at the end of the ramp. But the jump itself, pure machine poetry. All right. Sycorax. All right. Three. Six and one. Mm-hmm. Get the hunger die. Yeah. Let me know if that comes up as a failure. Uh, no, I have a critical success. No, one, two, three, four successes. Four successes, and the hunger die is? A success. A success as well. Okay, so up and over, clearing the jump with ease, landing slightly better than Casey did. <laughs> right. It's pretty impressive. It's too bad there's no one around here to see it. I know, except for Annabelle, you going to give it a try? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... It's dexterity and drive. Right. Which you haven't developed a lot yet. No. You can always, of course, call upon the power of the blood to increase your abilities. If you want to, you would risk the hunger for doing so. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do it? Yeah. Okay, make a rouse check. Okay. Well, I'm good. All right. Good, so the beast stays in its cage. So you gain an extra die on the roll. And... I also want to activate Cat's Grace, just, just in case. Just I'm probably going to be okay, case. but just, just in, in case. case. Just to be on the safe side. One success. One success is enough to clear the jump. Okay. Making 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 the noises the whole time. It's help. It helps. It helps. It helps me. Sure. It helps, it helps focus. She's up. She's over. She's down. She looks like she's going to fall. She should have fallen, but 
miraculously, she maintains her balance and peels off as though nothing went wrong at all. It's actually very impressive. <laughs> yeah, right. I can hang. All right. All right. We'll work on it. It was good. It was okay. We'll work on it. You got it. Not too many cars on the highway at this time of night. It's not quite deserted, but close enough. Construction site coming up, though. A lot of cones. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to pull to the front of the pack, and I'm going to go as fast as I can through the cones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn around real fast as everybody else is coming up through the cones, and I'm going to weave opposite of them. Hell yeah. So giant slalom through the cones, yeah. and then a trick at the end. Yeah. Okay, you've got the dice. Make the die pool. Do you want to improve your chances by boosting your abilities at the I risk of hunger? Do you do make a make a rouse check first? Success, Success. or failure? Success. Yes. <clears throat> you give no heed to the beast inside you. Yeah. I get the feeling this is something sick in case of done before. <laughs> Once or twice, Two, perhaps. Four, six. Do I get an extra die? You get one extra die for the boosting of your dexterity. And that'll stay throughout the scene. Same for Annabelle. Awesome. All right. I have one, two, three, four successes. And I guess it's, is it a messy success? I have a What'd you get on skull? the hunger die? A skull. Skull? Skull? Yeah. A skull? Hmm. But the roll itself... Is a success, right? Yes, okay. four successes. Then the skull is just a failure. <clears throat> if the whole roll had failed, that would have been a bestial failure. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Not great. Mm. We're good. Pull it off, though. You look good doing it. There's no hint of trouble. When you end the stunt, where are you? Where are you headed? Uh, I'm heading. So as everybody else comes through the cones, I'm gonna weave the opposite way of the cones. So it's like we're going like in figure eight. Casey, mm -hmm. can you follow suit? Oh, can I? Let's find out. All right. So drive and dex? Drive and dex. If you want to boost your dexterity, you too will have to risk the hunger. No, I don't want to Maybe. boost it, but I do want to do, um, I want to activate Cat's Grace. Comes in handy. All right, so from the opposite direction, Entering the slalom. Don't fail. Uh, I oh. failed. No successes at all. No. no. Okay, so you have a couple of options here. You can fail and eat the road. You can burn a willpower point to roll up to three dice over again. Three dice, three successes is what you would need not to have a collision. I'll, uh, I'll burn the willpower. Burn the willpower. Reroll. Reroll just those three? Just three dice. Yeah. One success. <sighs> not enough. You can, at this point, since you got one success and the roll is not a total failure, succeed at a cost. You're gonna eat it. You're gonna go down. But your bike is gonna take the damage. You're gonna have to pull off for a while to make some repairs. So she goes over and down. There's sparks. There's a shriek of protesting metal as the bike slides across the asphalt. But you don't damage yourself in the process. Your bike takes all of it. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna pull up, pull up next to you. Okay. All right, are you okay? You okay? I wish it had been me, to be honest, and not the bike. It's uh, it's ugly. It's gonna need ah. some work in the body shop. You're not sure if it's safe to drive yet. You're gonna have to check it out. All right, you mind pulling over for a bit while I take care of this? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, oh man. Uh, this could yeah. be your future. That's good. Man, you know what? I There are very little consequences for doing the kind of things that had very dire consequences back when I was alive, and so, you know, I'll take it. You know, wait, there, there, there's no thrill without a little danger, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so pull it off to the side. Mm, uh, all right. You gonna check it out? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have you make three rolls. Okay. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to be an unusual combination. It's going to be intelligence and drive. So for you, and since a motorcycle involved, that's still seven dice. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and make three rolls, three of those same rolls in succession, and then note how many successes you get in each roll. Meanwhile, Annabelle, notice that somebody's pulling off the road and rolling their vehicle to a stop approaching you. Oh, shoot, guys. It's a... Uh... Are they gonna? Are they gonna stop? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna stop. stop. It's a pickup truck. It's uh, it's pretty beat up. It looks like it's seen a lot of action. It's got some primer paint visible, mm. rust. Passenger side window rolls down, and a large, older man leans out. Hey, kids, all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. A little bit of bike You'll damage. You okay? Yeah, we own a we're bike shop. Good. It's fine. Got it. You uh, you looking to buy? Buy like. You're, he reaches the seat next to him and pulls up a little plastic bag. You looking to buy? Oh no! Think what? Did oh you no! Roll up and well, offer nothing? us well, bucks? maybe. Are you heading somewhere? Well. We're gonna make a drop off and we're gonna hit the roadhouse back up a piece. We'll meet you there. We'll meet you up at the roadhouse. We'll take care of it there. All right. We can't do drugs, and I don't mean that in like the good. Take care. See you later. He rolls up his window, <clears throat> nods to the driver, and uh, pickup truck takes off. Asshole. It's like, I, dr drugs are not cool, is what I meant. We're, we'll take care, we'll of, take it care of it when we get to the roadhouse. Jerk off. How are those rolls, Casey? Uh, three successes, two successes, two successes. Three, two, and two. Mm -hmm. It's going to require a little repair time. Mm. Oh. Yeah. But you've got the tools. You've got your snacks. It's a good thing I know how to fix this. Can it I is a good thing. So you uh, get out the uh, get out the roll-up toolkit that you carry. You start selecting tools. Mm. Got to make some repairs right here roadside. <laughs> My poor baby. It's Sorry. okay. We'll get, it, we'll get it fixed up. I got it. I got it. So, uh, Annabelle, that rally was something else, huh? Yeah. yeah. I think it went pretty well. Thanks for being there. It meant a lot. I, I got to be honest. The last time we hung out, it was a little weird. I was a little uncomfortable. But, I mean, you guys came through. How's, how's, how's your rags doing? So far, Ramon has said he's behaved himself, but Help in our- up the neighborhood? Yeah, but in our experience, it only lasts for so long, so we'll see how long it lasts. Oh, well, you can't say that we didn't give him a chance, I guess. Well, we definitely gave him an option. Too much of a chance. <sighs> well, thanks for being there, and that was sufficiently convincing for you guys? It was intriguing, <laughs> definitely. There were a lot of things that you said that resonate with us. Sure. But we're still, we got a, we got a little to cover. Yeah, I mean, okay. I don't know, no matter what shit goes down, I'm always a free agent. I yeah. think Sick would say the same. Yeah. So as long as our, uh, you know, our goals align, then it could be, it could work. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make it so that you can keep your neighborhood. We don't have to play a, pay a blood tax or bend the knee to the asshole up at the Getty. <laughs> yeah, I don't- it won't happen. <laughs> I don't want you to take this the wrong way, Annabelle, but like, why you? I keep asking myself the same question, honestly. I mean, Nines has been around a lot longer and is a lot wiser. I've known him. But he doesn't want it. And he has been just kind of sitting there and letting it happen, letting, letting this happen. I mean, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. There's not a ton he could have done, but I just, I want it. 
badly enough, I guess. And I know that's just wanting something isn't enough to make it happen, but I have this vision. I have this drive, this need to make a home for everybody. And I'm lucky enough that I have people like, like, you know, Victor or Jasper or Nelly, Nines, the two of you, whose input I trust. I mean, how would you do it? I just don't want to see another Nines situation where you just can't follow through when it counts. And you know what? We can take some time after we fix the bike and we get up and we'll just go over some plans, some ideas, because we don't want anybody to intrude on our area. It's oh, just no. <laughs> not going to happen. No. And if that means that I can help you in some way, I think we can make that happen. Yeah. I mean, do you have a plan? Like, this is a major organization. We can't just get a bunch of people that are shouting at a rally together and just rush in without a plan. That's the thing, is that <laughs> human resistance tactics sort of fall flat in the face of a force that can afford to wait us out for a millennia, right? So honestly, I'm gonna have to rely on the wisdom of those of you who have been around longer than I have. But that being said, in human resistance movements, a lot relies on intelligence, mm. guerrilla warfare, mm. Taking pieces off of the board of people who are bigger, yeah. stronger than you, uh -huh. bit by bit. You can't just clash in the streets head on. They are stronger than us. They're older. Well, I can tell you I know a little something about taking down big organizations. Really? Yeah. Hey, I, uh, clan leather jacket. Yeah, I, um, believe it or not, I used to be a cop. What? And when you're dealing with a gang or a very well-organized crime organization, it's helpful to have someone on the inside for intel. It's good to pick off the little guys first. Don't go rushing right in for the big guy. And you never go in without a plan. That's suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little bit of, we've seen a little bit of what that brings. But you know, we've, we've learned from our mistakes. Uh, cool. Look, can we go back to the part where you said you were a cop? What what happened? <laughs> what do you mean, what happened? I mean, if you, uh, if, you uh, if you don't mind me asking, I mean, how did you go from being a cop to being a street vigilante? It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Ooh, I don't know. I'm better at my job now, if you will. Um, I was uh, killed in action on paper. And now I'm here. And now it makes a little sense why we keep our streets pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a lot better at my job now thanks to my uh, newfound abilities. Seems like a, you'd have a lot of valuable insight into this system. Yeah. And how to undermine it from the inside out. I'm here if you have any questions along the way. I do. I always have questions. Cool. I know we have somewhere we need to be. So. Yeah, my wheels will have to wait. It's, uh, it's okay enough to ride, but... You can ride it. You're not sure that you would um, undertake any major jumps again this evening, but it'll get you where you want to go right. with a little extra to spare. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so back on the road? Yeah. Southbound. <laughs> Out into the, uh, the hillier, more dangerous sections of the highway. The curves out here are hairpin yeah. and tougher. But the sense of freedom, the exhilaration of the openness of it, of having no cares except the road and the air and the night sky and the wheels is as exhilarating. Are you going to try anything else? No, Annabelle. I'm gonna try it when I corner to lean and look real cool. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try and lean when I go around corners and look real cool. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Dex and athletics instead of drive. Okay, oh. Remember to add your bonus uh, die for the um, <clears throat> rouse check that you made. Burn a little power. 
four. It's two. Yes, four successes. Four successes, leaning left, leaning right, practically standing on the bike as you come around the hairpin. She looks awesome. Hard to tell she's an amateur, really. She's got she's got good balance in case you recognize a graceful cat when you see one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well done, looking good. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! That's right. I flip my hair. Looks Maybe. awesome. Feels great. Yeah. No consequences. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa! laughs> Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> There's an accident up ahead. You've got to make a quick stop. Ah. Dexon Drive. See the flashing lights of the emergency vehicles, the cars pulled off the side of the road. You're going to have to do this very, very quickly. So, everybody, dexterity and drive. Two. Two successes? Three successes? Three. Casey? Mm-hmm. Three. Okay, everybody got enough. So you managed to slow your bikes, get into the uh, parallel lane, slow down. Fortunately, the police are busy. They're hauling a car up over the cliff. Shit. Somebody took a header off. Fuck. Is it looks a really van? bad? What's that? Is it a van? <laughs> Is it a van? Yeah. No, it's not a van or a pickup truck. <laughs> no, it's a sports car. All right. Yeah, and it's never going to drive again. No sign of the passengers, though. Who knows? Hmm. But it's an important reminder of who you are and where you are, and what you are. Do I uh, do I recognize the plates on the cop car? Oh yeah, this this is California Highway Patrol. Are you trying to recognize the officer? Yeah. Okay. Intelligence and awareness. That's a good role for you. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, one success. Hmm. You get a, as you pass by, you see a profile. Looks familiar. Okay. Can't place her name, but uh, you know you filed at least one report with her. So she's been on the force for a while. Having yeah. to lay low. Okay. So you're not going to mess with it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. <clears throat> you're going to let the officer do her job. Let the tow truck driver do his job. Yeah. And pass it by. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe some consequences. Always. Dead or alive, there's always consequences. That's what makes it thrilling. <laughs> you get the hang of this. This isn't so hard. Nines is going to be impressed. <laughs> yeah, he will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Nines will be impressed. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Next time we'll invite nines. So. You reach the point in your midnight ride where you know if you go too much farther, you're going to run some risk getting back. You need to be back in your havens before the sun rises. Long before, if you had your preference. You can't ride forever. All right, Annabelle. Let's wrap this up. Turn it around. All right. We got one more stop before the night's over. Where are we going? We'll show you. Just trust us. Oh, okay. I don't see how that could go wrong at all. (laughs) See if you can keep up. (laughs) And then we're going to punch it as fast as we can. Going to open it up north? Yep. Back the way you came. Mm -hmm. (sighs) This bike is fast. You might get one of these yourself, maybe. I <laughs> sure. get one of these. Yeah. Um, doesn't take as long, of course, when you got these things open at full throttle. Mm-hmm. No stunts this time, no slaloms. The accident has cleared away. 
no more emergency vehicles. So you're headed to your your rendezvous spot. Yeah. The roadhouse that was mentioned. Yeah. Okay. So you figure you are <clears throat> maybe half an hour out of Long Beach when you spot the Roadhouse Tavern, biker dive up ahead in the distance, but that's not where the Valkyries pull off. You might have thought they would. They pull up short, several hundred yards south of that, to a scenic overlook. It's got a little grassy hillside, a few picnic tables. In the daytime, families probably bring their children here to have a little lunch, break up their trip. Look out over the waves that you can see far, far below the cliff. It's majestic. It's impressive. When you cut the engines, all you can hear is the sound of the surf far below. It's beautiful. (laughs) That's awesome. (sighs) Honestly, thanks. I really needed this. It's just been so much lately, and it's just when, when the wind's in your hair and, and you're just screaming down the coast, this is fantastic. Thank you. It's the best, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of our favorite places to come and settle our minds and sort out all the bullshit that's coming our way because there's a storm coming, and there's a lot of bullshit ahead. And I just wanted to touch base with you and sort out if not only your mind's ready, but your heart's ready for what's going to happen. And I lead you over to the edge. You're going to approach the cliff? Yep. It's a long way down, but you can look over the edge of the cliffside and see the waves crashing on the broken rock below. It's thrilling, actually, to look at the endless ocean smashing itself against the world. What do they, what, what do you find there? As you look, as we walk up to the edge of the cliff and you look down, there's tiny stones everywhere. In a cir- stones. In a circular pattern. And if you look down, it's this big Norse rune of protection. Is it big enough to stand in? It's big enough to stand in. Do you all stand in it? Casey, you too? Yeah, I'll step in last. Annabelle, will you go inside the circle? It, what, what is this? It's my favorite place. It's for protection. Thanks for sharing it with me. You're welcome. And I have a gift for you. You step inside the circle then? Yeah. <clears throat> and I reach into my vest pocket and I pull out a tiny stone. Can you describe it? Um, it's a stone that I got from the beach, so it's really smooth and soft and a little rugged around the edges. And on the stone, there's an inscription, and it's a symbol, and you won't know what it is, but it means peace. Peace. And I heard you at the rally, and I know maybe you're not at peace with who you are yet, but I am. And that's something you have to come to terms with. That beast inside of you, sometimes you gotta learn to love it, because this path that we're walking there's people following you and we're trusting you and we can't follow somebody that doesn't believe in themselves. And so you need to find that peace with you and your beast for us to follow you. Casey, how do you feel about that? What does that make you think of? There's a lot of things that, uh, that six says that are really wise and it takes a little longer for some of us than others to find that peace. But I agree. You're going to have to find it if you want to lead. And I gave you the stone. Mm. Thank you. And I, I take your hand as, as you hand it to me. And thank you. Honestly, I really admire the two of you and how you've been able to carve out and create your own home, and make it safe for all those around you. And I want to do that for everybody in my life. And if we stick together, there's a much better chance that we can all do that. So thank you. You're welcome. I will do whatever it takes. Find that in myself to help everybody else. And we'll help you and we'll find a plan. But there's something we haven't told you yet. 
the yeah. reason we're here. Yeah, we didn't just bring you out for a bike ride. Everybody's always got all these ulterior motives. It's like when you're dead, suddenly you develop a bunch of secrets. You get a long time to create those secrets. Well, we don't like to keep secrets, which is why we're letting you know now. Okay, thanks. What, uh, should I be worried? No. Maybe. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we, we've got a friend who asked to meet you, and we thought this might be a good spot for that to happen. She's a, she's a good friend. She's a good person. Okay. She's a little... She's a loose cannon. You think we're loose cannons? Yeah. She's a loose cannon. She's a little bit of a J-cat, if you know what I mean. Like, just teetering on the edge. You might want to... What's a J-cat? Eh, someone with the, you know, a little... She screws loose. Oh. But... Uh. She, she wants this. But don't take everything at face value. There's a roar of engine peeling off the highway. Another motorcycle <clears throat> coming towards you on the cliffside. It's one of those grossly overpowered three-wheeled spiders. Tricked out, modified, it makes a hellish roar. Kicks up a lot of gravel, a lot of dirt. Screeches to a halt a few yards away. The figure gets off the bike. Very distinctive. Blonde hair, pigtails. Oh, well. Plaid skirt. Here comes trouble. A lot of mascara. On one of the most beautiful bikes I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello, girls. Jeanette. Hello, Jeanette. <laughs> we staying out of trouble tonight? Well, it looks like trouble just came to us. <laughs> <laughs> My babe. You're Teresa's hey. sister. I That's am. Oh, but... Anybody who has a sibling knows never to say you're so and so's sibling because I'm my own person. Oh, I yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, hi. X has said a lot of great things about you. I'm I'm Annabelle. You must be. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. You have almost a bit of life in you. It's like you're a little baby ducky. You're so cute. I am only two and a half months old. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh. Take it easy, Honor. I don't know what you're talking about. We're just here to have fun. <laughs> Annabelle, will you be all right if we go take care of some business? Yeah. Well, thank you for the introduction, ladies. Just howl if you need anything. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, was that offensive to... We'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. See you in a bit. Sick racks, Casey. <clears throat> Where are you going? Oh, we're going to head back over to the roadhouse and find those guys that... Uh, are you leaving your bikes here and pick? walking over? No, we're going to ride over. <clears throat> so you fire up the bikes yeah. and head on over mm -hmm. to the roadhouse tavern. Quaintly named the roadhouse tavern. And am I to understand that you are going inside? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Hmm. A lot of bikes parks outside. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are pieces of shit. Uh -oh. Leave my card. There is a pickup truck that you have seen tonight. Parked Perfect. Here. I'm gonna go and find the guy. Yeah. Hold that thought. Mm. Meanwhile. On the cliff's edge, you're alone. My girls, I love them so much. I call them my broom broom girls because you know they're always just. <laughs> 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 yes. So, are you ready? I'm never ready, and yet I'm always doing the thing. Good, because we're gonna kill somebody. Oh no! Oh, what? Oh, they didn't tell you? <laughs> no, they did not. Oh no! That's... Oh wow. That's what this is about, is you're gonna murder someone. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Hazing? Okay. <laughs> okay I already passed my initiation. I'm kidding, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, oh my okay, God. cool, because I already passed my initiation. <laughs> and if you had life in your face, it would have drained just now. Your face is so 
funny. Oh my god, we're not gonna kill anybody. Don't worry, I already got the uh, little rundown from everybody else. Right, right, right. Good girl. I I passed my gang initiation, and I'm not a good girl. Mm, she's a good I baby. Can, I can she's be, good. I bad. Oh, she can be bad? Yeah, we'll see. We'll have you over at Asylum. We can see how bad you can be. Yeah, your club. Hmm. X says that you know how to party. I do. It's one of my many talents. And as a recent franchise owner, I can get us the good stuff. Ooh, and, you know, franchise Thank owner. you very much. I worked very hard to get my way to the top. And uh, it's very rewarding being a businesswoman. But that's not why I'm here. Why are you here? Well, I had to meet the leader of the new revolution. This baby that everybody has so much faith in and, you know, has such strict morals and really, really sticks to her, her moral compass. But, uh, you know, very little experience. I would, I would just love to know. Ask me How's anything. time? How's my time? Mm. Are you having fun? As, as, as being kindred? Mm. It's been real confusing. Mm. But I've met some really great people. Confusing's not bad, you know? I think that the best way to be is a little confused because you're right in the middle of two decisions. Sailing in the middle of those, I think can be very satisfying. Yeah, it's easy when you don't have to make decisions, but mm. I've kind of learned that in the past couple of weeks is that I have to make strong decisions. It's yeah. what a leader would do. Yeah, that is what a leader would do. Now, can I ask you something personal? Ask me anything. Who have you told about your recent attachments? Who have you trusted with your relationships, you know, before you turned kindred and otherwise? I didn't have much before I died. Mm. An independent agent? Uh, yeah, I don't, not really much about commitments. Mm. Well, I hope that's true for your case because those relationships that you forged and we have so many good ones, you know, my Valks and we're all great friends, but you're in a position where you could lose a lot of that. And I want to make sure that you know that. Are you threatening me? No. Oh, my. <laughs> no. I'm saying the relationships you forge will get used against you. And to be careful and protective of them. I'm your friend. I'm on your side. Not like my bitch sister. <laughs> I'm not you met lie. her, right? I, I did. You met her. <laughs> what do you think of her? I didn't, if you'll excuse me saying, I didn't like the way she talked about you. Bingo, bango, bongo, I knew I would like you. Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> she sucks. It, it would seem that way. Are you still, I mean, how are you so different? Well, here's the thing with Therese. You know, okay, have you had, have you tried to have human food since you turned? God, yeah. Yeah? yeah I, tried to, I tried to have street tacos, mm. and it was the worst thing of my life. Yeah. I was just vomiting, and I couldn't stop vomiting. And Yeah, yeah. So that's what Teresa is like. You know, she has the same impulses that we do. She has the same affectations that we do, but she keeps it pushed down. And, you know, it's only a matter of time before <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She tries to act like she's got her stuff together. She tries to act like she's a big business lady and, you know, she's really smart. But she's crazy like me. The difference is that I don't shy away from it, you know? I have fun with it. Why be anybody else but who I am, right? I did like her stance on the way that Malkavians should be treated. Well, yeah, we're the best. We should be treated <laughs> the best, but... I mean, if X is anything to go by, yeah. Oh, we're going to talk about X. But I want to make it clear to you. 
Therese Vorman is not on your side. Uh, she has definitely proven that to be the case. She's a fraud. Everything that she has said has been a lie and do not trust her. Yeah, we figured that, but... She's playing you, Annabelle. Why do you think it was her idea to have you be at the forefront of this revolution? She doesn't believe in you. She thinks you're gonna fail. Prove her wrong. And while you're at it, I mean, you could just take her down, you know? I don't wanna put anything on the new leader of the, uh, the big revolution that we're doing, but uh, she should suffer for her actions, absolutely. I don't want anybody to suffer, but if she stands against us, then oh. yeah, we will have to do something about her, but she's your mm -hmm. sister. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think that it's an interesting lesson for you to learn that family is more than blood. In fact, it's very different. Yeah, I've discovered that recently. If I were you, I wouldn't practice the same compassion <laughs> that you expect Therese to have because she will have none. She won't have any. And if it's any indication of what she's doing to X, I think that you'd be keen on that. She's not doing it to X anymore. Well, she's got there. her. She's got him under her thumb. Not anymore. Not anymore. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I trust him. How do you know that X isn't trying to protect you or lead you into danger or, you know, put a little more on your plate being the baby revolutionary you are? Can you trust X? I've learned lately that we really can't completely trust anybody who's got the beast inside of them. That's a but, good lesson. But I feel like if we don't at least work together that we're all going to be lost. I agree. I'm on your side. I want I, I want to see the camera fall. I'm an anarch for life, baby. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Where where do you stand? I mean, your sister seems to be Bending the knee to Vannevar. Oh, my sister. You are business partners, your family. Yeah, you could say she's bending the knee to Vannevar. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. You could say that she's doing that. that. If you wanted to say that, you could say doing. that. You could okay. say that. She acts like she's an anarch, but she's not. She's always wanted to be a rich lady, powerful lady. She's always wanted to just, you know, leave, leave the anarchs behind. And she'll do it. That's the thing, because she's so good at getting people to trust her. I'm glad that you were suspicious of her. What do you want? What do I want? Yeah, she's, she's willing to join the ivory tower to get protections for her kind, she says. Mom. So she says, what do you she want? She doesn't care about her kind. If she cared about her kind, she doesn't care about her kind. What I want is to see the Camarilla destroyed. I'd like to have some fun while I'm at it. And most importantly, I wanna see Therese go down. I mean, that's, you're a handful. I know, thank you. Just, I mean, you don't have any sort of constructive desire on your own to. This is a constructive desire. This is a constructive desire. Because listen, if you don't take out Therese, she will take you out. She will take all of us out. That's her plan, that's her mission, that's what she wants to do. She says, oh, I'm an anarch, I'm an anarch. You know, I bet she gave you the whole like, we gotta be covert, we gotta fight from within. Yeah. <laughs> no! She doesn't want that. She's gonna leave everybody in the dust. So as the revolutionary leader of the anarchs, you're gonna need to take her down one way or another. And I know I know that you don't want to kill anybody. That humanity's sneaking through. But bodies are gonna start piling up no matter what. Just something to think about. No, it's true, you're right. You know, they say that all it takes for evil to succeed is for good people to do nothing. 
And while I don't particularly enjoy violence. Who said that? Who said that? Actually, no, nobody now. I mean, just like it's a, it's a oh, thing. Oh, you, you said that just now. I said that to you. I was quoting somebody much wiser than me, though. Mm. I, I, I feel like, yeah, there will be blood spilled on both sides. Mm. And we got to do what we got to do. What are you willing to do? To win? To protect the people of the city? Yeah, huh? Whatever it takes. Hmm. I like that. You know, it's pretty amazing that you have made it this far without hurting anybody, at least who didn't deserve it. But I think the way that you view violence in general and killing people is, oof, it's a little outdated for where we're at right now. I think you should start thinking of it as like, everybody deserves it, at least a little bit. We are completely on the opposite side of this. I'm on your side. I feel like, no, I mean, I don't mean like, you know, of the conflict. I just mean, I, I feel like everybody has the right to live. That everybody has the right to a second chance. So when X gets beheaded from the Camarilla, do the do the, do they do they have a right to live? Or are they going to be forgiven because they will not show you that mercy? And guess what? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, that's fine. No, I mean, I'm it's ready not. To go. My babies are so ready to go. Look, it's not that. It's and it's not that I am completely opposed to violence or to killing. Look, like we had to kill Blaine and his gang. We had to take out Chaz. Mm. I'm. I don't know. I've been working through it past couple of weeks it's hard because in life we always ask ourselves how much is too much like at what point do we take violent actions at what point mm. do we burn down buildings and everybody has a different line yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yours seems to be like way down here whereas mine's a little higher but I, I have a line I have a line it just is squiggly. It's real mushy. I mushy. Make, I am up. I like to make real every passing fancy, and I don't see anything wrong with that as a new franchise owner and as a ride or die anarch. But I know where I stand with that. I know that the Camarilla is going to fall, and I know that it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be violent. This is going to be messed up. It's gonna be gross. Yeah. I know, I'm gonna try to avoid as much as that as possible, but X said that in addition to being a great person to go to parties with, you also are a really smart businesswoman. Thank you. May not look like it, but I got a good brain in here. <laughs> Whatever, L looks, looks are not. Important. Therese would say you that she got all the brains, and I think that that's wrong. I'm just a more non-linear thinker. Anyways, she's not honest. I'm honest. And I think that's the most important part. You're going to need to figure out a way to blow her cover or kill her or something. I don't know, maybe put her in handcuffs and just put her away for a little while. Or maybe just like dump some hot oil on her or something or like like burn her a little bit. Whatever it is, I mean, you gotta do it because ooh, ooh. All right, um, that was a very specific list of options there. Just some ideas. <laughs> you know, she knows about UNX. She knows and she's gonna use it on you. She's gonna... He could really get hurt. I will not allow that to happen. I am so glad to hear that because if you do, I personally will come for you. He and I deserve it. I would deserve it. Nothing is gonna happen to X mm. while he's with me. Well, I think that that's the, I think that's the whole problem is he'll be with you. You know, I know you didn't ask for this, 
But people who are in positions of power, hmm, their loved ones are the first to go. And it's a lonely, 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 lonely business. But you've been elected. Fun. Yeah. Speaking of fun, <clears throat> can we assume at the Roadhouse that when you find the individual you spoke to on the road, things are not going to go well for him? No. No. I see. Can we assume that the Roadhouse will survive this night? The bar itself? Maybe yeah. Sure. The windows? Maybe not. Hold that thought. Hmm. Yeah, personal attachments are, I am told, a liability. So here we are, back to where we started in our conversation. I see love and personal attachments as a strength, not a weakness. Hmm. That's very human of you. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, but still, you're gonna need to get like a really good security squad or or something if you continue to have personal attachments and mix career and pleasure. That's something I never do. Really? Just kidding. Totally <laughs> That's what I thought. You got me. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not a good liar. <laughs> I guess that's lucky for me then, right? Yeah, lucky for you. You know, you have backup. I don't mean to give you, you know, a lack of faith or anything. I mean, I'm sure everybody's been telling you that this is gonna be, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. But, I mean, those Valkyries, man. Did you see them? Have you seen them fight? <laughs> have you seen them fight? I. It's scary. Not in person, it's but. It's really scary. Yeah. And I can be scary too. You do scare me a little bit. I do? Yeah. I'm not afraid to admit that. Well, that's good. Because I can be scary. But not to you, because you're on my side. You know, I think that brotherhood and sisterhood and, and all of that, like, we gotta fight together. Yeah, just like, oh, be careful, dude, because woof. Yeah, your whole, your whole coterie, your, everybody, I mean, man, wow, they are in danger. They are in, woof, they are, yeah, bad stuff's gonna happen. <sighs> and that might also be something to think about is like, you know, will you lose everything? Are you gonna go crazy if somebody dies? I will probably not take it well. No. Um, <sighs> Are you sure that you can handle this it's... little baby duck? Because it's starting to sound like you're a little soft for this personally. Just my, just my two cents. You might be a little, uh, little delicate for what's about to happen. I don't think that being empathetic is a weakness. Mm. I may be empathetic and I may care a lot about the people that are close to me, but it gives me a fire that I don't know if these centuries old monsters could ever match. Empathy. I remember that. I remember empathy. Empathy? Empathy. Mm. You're good. I like you. I like that you care. I think that's cool. I'm just saying, maybe a little, little just like take it down a notch when it's the Camarilla. Cause they are not gonna show that to you at all. They're gonna wanna chop your head straight off. Pretty hair is gonna go. So what insight can you give me into how to take down the Camarilla then? Well, start with my sister. I mean, okay. I have a feeling, we don't talk, but I know her game. I know what she's up to. I would trail her, see if you can find any secrets, because you know she's in bed in more than ways than one. She's gonna be like literally. <laughs> Good for Just her. Kidding. No sledge timing. No, nah, she doesn't do that. Oh. She's a prude. Um, Taylor, 
I know what she's up to, you know? She's gonna be... I think that if you pay attention to her, she's gonna show you some stuff. Just don't get caught, because oh my god, you are so dead if you get caught. Wow, she's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Copy. Shouldn't have laughed at that, sorry. This so, is serious. You're a ride or die in or? Yeah. We can count on you, your support. 100. Your folks at Asylum. Oh my God. Asylum is gonna be the best place to go if you need to just like get away, blow off some steam. Can I please? Oh my God. Yeah. Well, you can't, what, do you, what do you think is the second reason I'm here? It's to get you to try to come out with me and X. And I'm not saying don't be friends with anybody. I'm just saying like really, really keep your wits about you. Hey, because they're gonna hey. Oh, oh, oh. I will get <laughs> us, I will get all of us the best security that Victor Temple's money can buy. Hmm. Hmm. Is that good? It's real good. Okay. It's real good. Well, I'll throw it down for you. I will, and so will my girls. I mean, I really respect the whole, like, Pope, Virgin Mary, Buddha, y y Yoda thing, you know, that you have going on. It's like the, the like, I'm wise and I'm like a, <laughs> I don't like to like hurt people. No, 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 I get no, no, it, no, I get it, no. I respect it. And you know what? I think that some of the best and scariest leaders have other people do their dirty work for them. So, I see you. I like it. I'm pretty green, but I do have a lot of really wise folks around me. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just not like too close around you, right? Because like, <laughs> right? Just, <clears throat> just not like too too close, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your strategy against the Camarilla? Yeah. Well, like I was telling the Valkyries before, intelligence, guerrilla warfare. I mean, diplomacy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Diplomacy. Not it's the Camarilla. Not oh look. God. Look. Not like Victor's kind of diplomacy. I don't think that we can reason with them. But I mean more subterfuge. Mm. I mean more like spying. I need more like whatever it takes to get us intelligence and to get the people on our side. Because if he doesn't, he used, did you hear? He used his powers in Elysium. If oh, he yeah. doesn't respect his own rules, then how can his people respect him? Mm, I don't think respect really has a ton to do with it, my guy. But speaking of intelligence, do you know what they do to double crossing kindred? Uh, I imagine it has something to do with decapitation or being left out in the mm. sun. It's just, yeah. you know, not a ton of creativity going on mm. with all of them. Ooh, you'd like to see something more creative? No, no, that's not what I mean. I, oh. I mean, everybody's just extremely cliche about everything. <clears throat> I thought I was going to see a different side to you. Even the sound of the crashing waves below the cliff cannot drown out the sound you hear next, which is something familiar to you, Jeanette. It's the sound of a very large, very expensive motorcycle going through a plate glass window. <gasps> and it's coming from the roadhouse, followed by shouts, a few gunshots, sounds oh of bodies flying through the same window and hitting the ground. Uh-oh. He... General mayhem. Okay, okay, look, <laughs> uh, we gotta go, but look, can can we be in contact? Can we? Yeah. Talk? Yeah, we can talk. You can come out with me, for uh, for example. But uh, yeah, if you want anybody yeah. to do your dirty work for you, just, you know, keep me abreast about uh, old Therese. Therese. Yeah, I'll look into it. Thank you. OK. Uh, the next sound you hear from the roadhouse is the sound of rather a lot of motorcycles parked outside, all falling over like dominoes. Oh! It's a very expensive noise. Ah, oh, we better go. Was that, was that your bike? Ah! Yeah. Was that your bike? 
Was that on loan? Oh, you I were in trouble. They're gonna kill me. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The Ducati's even more scratched. Oh, jeez. Okay. We this might go. be the end of the revolution because <laughs> they're gonna be so mad. Oh, they're gonna be so pissed. Oh. So, you're gonna go do what you can. Yeah, just run over to the bar. That seems like a good place to leave the story for now. Although the tale of what happens next will probably be told in Asylum in the future. Thank you all very much for joining us for our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. In this epilogue, watch the night.